So um, we are live today with our good brother, Mumia Abu-Jamal, who uh, has been fighting a good fight before many of us was born. Uh, how are you feeling today, comrade? How's everything going with you? Uh, I'm well. I'm well. Uh, as I say, every day is a new day and a new beginning. So uh, let us begin this one well. Right on, right on, right on. Hey, man, we, we know that, um, I mean, there's so much stuff that we would like to rap about in so little time, but I know that, um, you know, just getting to the meat of it, uh, we know that uh, you've been fighting for, um, fighting this whole health situation for a minute. You know, tell us how, how that's going right now. I know that you recently had a, uh, had a, uh, had surgery back a, back a few months ago. How, how's your health right now? Is it pretty strong or? It is. It really is. Uh, my health is, I mean, I'm a biased observer. Right uh, my health is excellent, though. And, uh, you know, I just keep moving uh, every day. Uh, I have a walk for about an hour when we're in the yard. And if we're not in the yard, it's good. The weather is inclement. You walk on the, uh, walk on the block. I just keep on walking. That's one of the good pieces of advice that the good doctors told me about, which is to walk. And it's a perfect exercise and I just walk. So right on. Still walking. Right on, right on. We'll, we'll keep on walking as the song go. Um we know that uh this December marks uh forty years since you were railroaded. Um you spent thirty on on, on death row and solitary confinement. Ten of those was after a federal judge ordered the death sentence overturned. Um you know, I, I mean, your, your strength has just been impeccable. Um, along with that, you recently dropped a commentary called Movement Pains. And in it, you spoke about the oppressed and abuse of power within the movement. Can you speak to that? Because of the fact that that's prevalent right now. And, and we know it's always been. Well, uh, you know, I, I think about things from different perspectives. So, you know, when I write, I try to be original in my thinking and not uh, just additive of what others are saying. So uh, if I'm not bringing anything original to the table, I'm not talking. Right. You know, just echo. And, you know, echo can create reverb. And, you know, in, in radio, that ain't cool. You right. did. Yes, sir. So uh, I want to bring something new to the table. So that means you have to kind of think things through and and uh, just bring it when it's there, when it's timely, right on. when the time is right. Um, you know, the movement uh, has shifted as life has shifted. And, uh, but, you know, on the whole, I think that this is uh, really a wonderful period, right? To be alive because uh, people are with, uh, I was going to say awakened, and I was tempted to say woke, but people have awakened. 
They were looking literally live, right, in real time. That's right. At a modern day legal legend. And it, you know, it freaked them. It freaked them out. Right. Because right? they couldn't believe it. That's like, uh, you know, this ain't a TV show. That's right. It's a reality. You yeah. get it? Right. And the, the real truth behind that is that it happens damn near every day. That's right. But people don't see it. They don't feel it. But you're looking at a man in his 40s crying for his mama right. because he knows, right, that he has moments left to live. Because he, as he explained, he can't breathe, right? Then right. that's that's an awakening moment. And so, you know, you you, you take advantage of that that moment, and you build on it, right? Okay. You teach people about the history of the United States, the history of white supremacy, the history of colonialism and imperialism, and and you build. And you build, and you build. This is a time for movement building all around the world. And think about this. When George Floyd happened, it wasn't a national thing. It was a global thing. You know, people demonstrated in, like, Korea, Japan, Indonesia, uh, England, France, Germany. Literally all across the world because what they felt, what they saw, what they experienced was a human being being killed by the state with cold complicity, right? And uh, it's stuff like that that uh, builds movements and creates struggles to carry us through the next dark time. Right on. And, and, and the beauty of, 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 of you is the fact that you've always had your finger to the pulse of the streets. I remember we reached out to you uh, when Troy Davis was on death row. I reached out to uh, Pam and, no and uh, Noel Hanrahan and they said, yeah, you know, Mumia said that he's going to support the, the, the Troy Davis situation. There you were uh, fresh off the death row yourself um, and, and, and you were pushing for others. Um, you know, your strength, like I said, it, it's impeccable. I, I want to ask you real quick, because I know we are uh, pressed for time, but what is the role or what should be the role uh, in, in, in journalism or with journalists these days? Because of the fact that we know that part of your sacrifice was your reporting on MOVE and, and other atrocities that were going on in Philadelphia. Can you speak to that? The role of a journalist is to be in a revolutionary perspective. I should say a revolutionary journalist as opposed to a corporate journalist. But the role of a journalist, in my mind, is to be a tribune of the people. To, as you suggested, to touch the pulse of the people. To feel what they feel. You have one minute left. And to reflect that which they do not so that we can... Again, build movements that are moving at a higher frequency and a higher vibration to pull people together and to uh, inspire them to do that which we know is possible because it has happened in the past. Anything that has happened in the human past is possible in the human future. That's both negative, but it's also positive. So we can build, we can grow, and we have to think along those terms. Because as a man thinking, and as a woman thinking, uh, so it is. So let us come together, as George Jackson reminded us. Right on, right to stop on. our squabbles and join together and fight against this monster before it takes. Thank you for using Securus. Love you Goodbye. All. Love you as well, brother. Yes, yes, yes. We're listening to, uh, we've been listening to Mumir Abu Jamal. Uh, he had the opportunity to call in fresh this morning. And, um, you know, it, it's so much we wanted to speak to him on, but we know we're pressed for time. So hopefully we will get him back on the line soon. You're checking out Riot Starter TV and make sure that you stay 
um, in tune with uh, not only Mumia Abu Jamal, but all political prisoners. The call is free them all. Uhuru. Hey, I'll pull back when he calls. Cool, that's dope. Thank you.